at the studios of the Motion Picture Tycoon. Welcome to the wacky world of Maroon Cartoon. The golden age of animation, it's magical time, but the main star Rog keeps blowing his lines. Meet Eddie Valiant, a private detective hired to discover why the rabbit's being defective. Eddie takes the case but doesn't give it full throttle. He'd rather detect his way to the other end of a bottle. The red car's been sold, Earl's lost his career. The gold in this golden age, barely just a veneer. To Jessica Rabbit and a wrapped Marvin Acme, polishing his head straight into a hanky. The extra marital thorn in a marriage side, playing pat the cakes the secret she's been trying to hide. Roger's distraught, hanging on by a thread, when someone drops a safe on Marvin Acme's head. The police think it's Roger consumed by his love, a conclusion they draw with the paint from his glove. And a sinister presence arrives with a boy, as Judge Doom all rise, it's Christopher Lloyd. He'll convict Roger and provide a solution, demonstrate his zeal for a swift execution. But a fugitive Roger seems to tear in his claims that he's not the murderer, he's been set up and framed. Eddie thrown to the weasels, but the one nagging down, that Marvin Acme's will is what it's really about. Hiding Roger with Dolores, so he goes undetected. He goes exactly as chaotic as you might have expected. Judge Doom rolls up and he brings his own dip. But if you come at a king, well, you better not miss. Escaping in a cab, they blow off the weasels and find a cinema to beat the retreat to. Eddie doesn't like tunes, but why we discover he explains it was a tune that murdered his brother. When a news pipes up and Eddie makes a connection, Cloverleaf have bought Maroon to add to the collection. A confrontation with Maroon further muddies this joke. Two shots in his back and Jess makes her escape. A pursuit to Tune Town and she ends squarely at Valiant, but it turns out the Doom's the Machiavelli and talent. Hitting the brakes into the Acme factory, Doom's the head of Cloverleaf as he exposits in Rhapsody. They brought Toon Town to wipe tunes off the map. The future's arrived, they need to step the fuck back. Or get dipped from existence, but no one will miss him. Cosseted inside Doom's capitalist vision. Eddie's not sold, slays the weasels with laughter. Now hold on to your hats for what happens after. Judge Doom gets rolled in a twist, he's another tune. The very same tune that killed Eddie's brother. Eddie hits the tap and some poetic retribution, dissolving Doom in his own final solution. Eddie's Milton's up, gives it stakeholders a nation, assuming value extraction for value creation. And if you think the script writers are Chinatown people, the Cloverleaf plot is from its unfilmed prequel.